Greetings. Tis the season to have a little scouting mission. See which one of these terrible buildings is going to be my base. So let's do a traditional pre-scouting mission check. Water. That's a check. Food. That's a check. Pre-scouting mission wash. That's a check. And most important of all, my lucky dollar bill. I felt like this gave me a bit of luck last time, so I'll take it with me. Make a stack. Ooh, a stack of cash. That's a weapon? What? <laughs> I did not know that existed. That's pretty funny. Actually, I'm going to roll with it. I'm sh Let's test this out on the zombie when I get there. Alright, I'm ready. Let's do this. What's the plan here? Yeah, I'll just jump this fence and run straight in. Well, maybe not run. I've learnt my lesson from that. Oh, probably check on that. Ugh, it's infected. Oh well. Let's get scouting. See what's going on over here. Yeah, this building is as bad as an office building. I mean, it basically is an office building, I guess. Oh, an office for radio people. There's a bit more of it though, upstairs. I'm not really looting at the moment, this is more scouting, seeing as I'm going to be living here, there's not much point taking anything, because I'll just grab it as I go and don't fall off the roof. Oh, I made that mistake. When I first started playing this game, I didn't realise there was full damage and I just went straight off a roof and I lost that character. I mean, I, I should have realised that there's full damage on this game because everything's realistic, but... Ash wasn't thinking, went straight off the roof. Oh, I should have had a sleep before I came. I did not prepare for this very well. Well, apart from my stack of cash. It's more important than sleep. Right, I'm just going to find somewhere to have a quick, a quick snooze and then I'll carry on the scouting trip. <laughs> yeah, a room with a staircase and a broken door. Oh, that'll do. Oh, I'm kind of anxious now. It's probably a terrible decision, but it worked out quite well. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I mean, I know that building just above me is a hospital or something to do with medicine. So I don't know if that would be a good base, but ooh, a trailer. Gonna come back for that later, I think. Yeah, I don't think this would be a good base, but it's probably some good loot in here. So a quick look. And when I drove through this area, there were so many zombies and now they've just all cleared out. I must have lured them away. Ooh, hotties. That'll, that'll do me on a lonely night, I think. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, some pretty good stuff in here. Yeah, I'm not going to take it all. Unless it's really important, like hot disease. Can't, can't forget about that. Oh, I need to shave. My beard just got a bit dishevelled. <laughs> Look at that cash on me. <laughs> that looks so stupid. I'm actually a little bit disappointed. I came in here expecting a, a pretty epic fight, but there's nothing. <laughs> all the zombies have gone. I'm just expecting one of these. I open it and there's just a massive horde inside. That's usually what happens. Nope, no horde. Yeah, I'm not sure about this building. For a base, I don't think it would be very good. And look at all these windows that have to board up. Yeah, I'm, nah, I'm bailing. I'll smash the window, not jump through it. I'm not. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I'll only use that in an emergency now. Even though it is really fun. Yo, oh, we've finally seen a few. I was wondering where they were there. I thought maybe my game bugged out and all the zombies had despawned or something. Ooh, heart boxes. That's better than silk, definitely. Nice. I'm sure every Project Zomboid player has that steam anxiety, as I like to call it. Oh, that's a bit of a horde. I'm not going that way. Whenever you launch steam and you see Project Zomboid updating, you think, Oh man, which mod is going to break and ruin my save? It happens to me every time. I'm just always dreading the the Steam update. Ooh, clay. Ooh. Apart from all those zombies up there. No, they didn't notice that. Grab a few snacks for the road. Ooh, plenty of cigarettes in here. It's a good little shop. What I would really need right now is a sledgehammer, I think. Because once I've got this base location sorted, I think getting a generator will be the the next big thing on my list. Oh, tea bag. I need tea. Gotta have a nice brew when you get back to your base. Alright, so that was a dud. I mean, just out here could be a cool base. Like, you know, go a little bit into each building. This is all fenced off. Mm. 
random sneaking. All I'd have to do is like wall this off, wall the gaps off. This could be a pretty cool little location. So that's, that's, a, that's an idea. If all these buildings are rubbish, I'll just make myself something bang in the middle where I put that marker. And that zombie's running somewhere. Maybe something's attracted them. Oh, this guy's getting the stack of cash in his face. Aha. How did the cash break? <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I got a broken stack of cash, alright. <laughs> Whatever, I'm ditching that. Oh! Oh, there's a generator. Nice. That is lucky. Ooh. I don't know why I started looting there when I knew there was three more. I can't believe I found the generator in the whatever building this is. The hairdressers. Like, why do they even have one? I forgot I had this mod. <laughs> Where you just, like, it visually shows what you're carrying. I think it's really cool. What's it called? Carry everything or something? I don't know. I think it does it to corpses too. Let me just grab a corpse. If I remember correctly. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. Right, well I got a generator sorted. That is incredibly lucky. I thought I was going to have to go get a sledgehammer and go searching all those storage units which are down somewhere. Maybe around here. That's like the one place I kind of know in Louisville because we drove straight there. I can't believe I'm drowsy again. This character is really bad at sleeping. I mean, this little bit I'm in now is pretty fenced off as well. So there's like a... Oh no, it's way too open there. Yeah, oh, I'm not going to do that. Actually, I think I'll have a little rest in here before I venture out and check the rest of the buildings. Oh, I thought I brought some vitamins with me. I think I put them over my car by mistake. That's annoying. I think I'll do to my character what I just did in real life. Force myself to stay awake till a normal time and get my sleeping pattern back to normal. It's always a struggle. Go. Ignore me. Try to sneak away from me, cheeky boy. I like the look of this car though. I don't know. I, I I'm not a car person at all, so I don't know the names of cars. To me, this looks like the car from Supernatural. So that's what I'm gonna call it—a supernatural car, which is locked. So that's annoying. I don't want to smash a window on it though, so I'll quickly find a key. Mm, I think I'll check out these smaller buildings first and not tackle whatever that is. God knows. As long as it's not an office building. I hate office buildings. Yeah, check this one first. I hear someone. Oh. Can't sneak up on me, boy. Ooh, there's quite a few out there. Yeah, this would not make a good base at all. Again. Oh, yeah. Oh, I should have had that sleep. Yep, that's a hard pass on this building. Just any building with loads of windows, just completely no. I really want to check this building out first, so I'm going to see if I can sneak around this side. Oh, okay, no. So long, suckers. Alright, I'll check out whatever this building is. Just from the outside, it's giving me like insane, insane asylum vibes. I don't know, just looks very institutionally nuss. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right now. Have a peek in this window. What's this building? Oh, it's definitely an office, isn't it? Yep, it's an office building, so I'm not even going to dignify this building's existence by having even a glance in it. I'll come back to it later, but that is definitely not going to be my base. So my options seem fairly limited here. I do think my best bet would just be just wall up this parking lot and then I can have like a little have like a hybrid base in here or something like use that and just have like a big outside area that'd be pretty cool i think i'll do that i am very tired right now so i need to have a nap now i'll go get my car and i'll relocate yeah what a beautiful sleep look at that time completely back to normal now i gotta keep this routine if i can i don't know if i can with this trait i took let me look at it again sleepy head um yeah that might i don't know <laughs> Like I said, I really not, I don't know much about sleeping on this game. I'm sure there's lots of like tricks and tactics of how to optimize it. And I could look it up, you know, but that's not really my style. I just kind of dive into things head first, learn by doing. That's, that's how I do it. I need to do something about this beard when I get back though. Where's my car? Here we go. Well, I think before I go to the base, I might just have a drive down here and check this out. There might be some good stuff in there that will help me 
start my base. I don't think I have a saw or anything like that, so building and moving furniture will be a bit of a challenge about us. That, I think I have been itching to check out that house since I found it a couple of episodes ago, so I'm very curious. I'm hoping it's just a good old survivor house all boarded up. I can ransack the place. There's a lot of zombies down here though. Oh, there it is. Uh, I'm going the wrong one. <laughs> Alright, let's just go drive around the quick loop. Attract every zombie in the area, why not? Eat a bit of butter. Oh, maybe it was a bad time to eat the butter. I mean, I can see why this guy didn't survive very long. It's like barely boarded up. That's not going to keep him out, is it? I mean, there was a lot of zombies following me, so they're probably all about to catch up and break into this house, but... Ooh, a sh oh, could I do a bit of shotgunning here while I'm at it? See if there's a few more shells before I go <laughs> firing this off, but better to do it here than at my other... Ooh, okay, I wasn't prepared for that. I don't really want to fire till I've got a lot lined up. Yeah, re-equip, re-equip. Where are they? It sounds like a lot. Oh, no, it's not really. Right, let's try and round a few up. I've never been good at doing this, by the way, though. What's it called? Congo line, that's it. I'm always pretty bad at congoing them. Ooh, there's a lot more than I thought. Uh, this may have been a mistake. That's a double barrel one. No. Come on, Congo it up a bit. Congo, Congo, Congo. <laughs> stay back. Wow, that was pathetic. <laughs> I've got no beta block because that's the main problem. Right, that was all the bullets I had. <laughs> when in Rome. Well, leveling up my shooting a tiny, tiny bit, and I've also lured them all away from that house, so some positives came of this, but quite a lot of negatives following me. Oh, this is pointless about beta block, it's like the panic, just way too much. Oh, is that my weapon jam? Come on. At least kill some of them. Oh no. Ah, oh, they're all kind of just around my car now. That's not great. Right, let's have a quick loot while I'm here. And hopefully I don't die. Ooh, a fanny pack. That's always good. Got my smokes in there. Man, I thought since this was annotated on the map, it would actually be good. But there's, like, nothing in here at all. It's really rubbish. If I die because of this house, I'm going to be really annoyed. Yeah, this house was pointless. Anyone out here? They all just naturally stopped right around my car. That's pretty annoying. Do I try and take them out or just leg it to my car? Well, there's a few more than I care to dance with right now, so I think I'll just try and leg it. Come on. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, thank god. Alright, well that was pointless. Apart from I did a bit of shooting, which is always fun. Onward to the base then. Here we are, home sweet... Home. I... Here, the helicopter. That's not good. Although, controversial opinion, but maybe it's because I've only played multiplayer, but I really don't think the helicopter event does much. I mean, these guys are just following the car. I've never really had the helicopter event affect me, but I may be about to eat those words. <laughs> well, I'm not sure the best way to survive this. I mean, that's even if it does anything, but... Ooh, enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're definitely following the helicopter. Let's get to the roof of this building see what is actually going on out there. It doesn't seem like it does anything on multiplayer, so I get to see it firsthand. It might get to kill me firsthand. What's going on? Not a whole lot of anything. Oh, quite a few there. Oh, okay. They're coming up. Are they actually coming to me or are they just following the helicopter? No idea how this works. Hmm. Bit of both, I think. I thought the event was over, but I can hear it coming back. What should I call this fanny pack? Uh. Oh, <laughs> Ricky's dope. Uh. I hope someone gets where that reference is from. 
Like, I don't think building a wall would be good in this area because they'll just smash it down. So I need to place stuff that they won't get through. But I've never really done that before. Man, the gaps in my knowledge are really showing now that I have to put together a base by myself. Because <laughs> usually I would just be the guy that does nothing, eats all the food, and probably just start shooting the weapon and attracts all the zombies to our base. Ooh, might as well go get that trailer while I remember it. There it is. Nudge it around. Oh. I just want to quickly grab it. Okay, this seems like I've stuck it a little bit. Oh no, I got the stupid... <laughs> I picked up the, the truck by mistake. Oh, now there's zombies coming. I've got a truck on me. Oh, this is not... This is annoying. Oh. <laughs> At least I'm much past the place where I would run away from a few zombies. Let's see if I can get the trailer this time. So the stupid van. There we go. I should have read the, what it said in that menu. Man, whenever cars move like that, I feel like they're gonna fly into space. Well, let me in. And don't crush me, please. Oh, why? <laughs> I hate this stupid thing. Go away. I swear that said it attached it to the taxi. Right, fair time's the charm just to attach this in the middle of a helicopter event. There we go, finally. God, I made an absolute meal out of that. Okay, I think it's clear now. I can't hear the helicopter. And I've taken out quite a few of the zombies that were here. See, I told you the helicopter event was fake news. Didn't do anything. I was expecting hordes and hordes, but... Barely any zombies. And I think most of those are ones I attracted myself, so. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, another annotated map. Who finds this do not go here? The fucking I swear. That's oh, in Riverside anyway, so that's a bit pointless. I think for this playthrough, I won't even bother leaving Louisville really, since it's the place I'm most unfamiliar with. Ah, my weapon broke. That's not good. Yeah, Crowbar will do in a pinch. Alright, well, I think this area will make a good initial base so I can build out and secure more of it. I just need to secure this little alleyway and in the building a little bit. And then I'll have, like, yeah, a little place to sleep, grab a bed. That's probably beds in here, medical beds. Feels like this would be easier to secure, especially with like all these seats here, I think. Ooh. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. That was weird. <laughs> I was testing out to see if you could jump over those seats, whether there'd be a good barricade, but I guess that's my answer. I miss my machete. Here we go, medical bed in here. Can I sleep on it? Yes. Good old medical bed coming in handy. So I just need to figure out what be like a good initial barricade for just clogging up a few of these things. <laughs> Use this little alleyway as a test. Oh, he's seen me. Yeah, that took me way too long to figure out how to place this object down. <laughs> and now I can't even rotate it properly. There we go. Is that, does that work to block it? Seems to. Yes, that's good. <laughs> Cause there's going to be lots of stuff like that. I'll just plug up all these gaps and I'll leave this up here as a main entrance. So I'll build a cross, build a gate, assuming I actually have carpentry. <laughs> Forgot about that. I might need to do a lot of reading and leveling, a bit of grinding. Okay, I got one carpentry, that's all right. But I think for now, just plugging up those holes will be good enough. Yeah, I feel like this will do for a base location. It's pretty cool, really. I think... Picking a location at random is actually quite fun because I've got to make do with what I have on hand and just somehow make this work. I mean, the hospital is good and, you know, there's a lot of food nearby. So I think that's a good, good place to stop before I have to do a ton of grinding to level my carpentry. But that's uh, a problem for another day, I think. So take care.